Hello everybody, I'm the Wasteland Viking, and welcome back to Shadowrun Returns. I am recording this episode right after the previous episode, so we're just right into it, and obviously the right is still going on, but uh, I forgot why the UI got a little bit smaller. It's because of the resolution change, and I kind of liked what the other one was, but I, couldn't for th I can't for the life of me figure out what it was. Is it this one? Uh, cancel. No, that that wasn't it. But anyway, I'll I'll figure it out, and then maybe something I'd like a little bit more. But anyway, so we are in the Telestrain uh, office. We just went through some uh, computer work and found that. Wow, this. Hmm. There's a lot more. Oh, is that a fucking turret? Oh, I'm out. I'll wait for them to come to me. That's a big turret. Ooh. Um, I don't know. This Baron guy, he's being a little chill for being, oh, there's so many people. Like, there's a lot of people. Like, especially seeing that bit, there's a lot of people. And I don't know why he's so chill about it. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm a little, like, skeptical about him in general. But we'll see. I'll have these guys come to us. But that's a big freaking turret. That's like... I'm gonna take a look at that. Um, in general, that's two of them. But um, I enjoy sci-fi designs for turrets and things like that. And just... Let's zoom in a little bit more. Not that far. Okay, there we go. Um, just how a lot of things actually go with things. With just stuff in general. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It just looks badass, and it looks like something that has a lot of frickin' firepower. And it's probably automated, so if it can see us, it'll try to hit us kind of thing. As they always do. That guy looked like McCluskey for a second. But he's got, like, the detective lieutenant, like detective look to him. Yeah, that's... It's gonna be a bit tough. We have grenades. Obviously. Um, Travoke. Let's get that on the fly. Get that on the go, I meant. Alright, and then... Oh, how to do this. Oh! Oh! Provoke. Oh, my drone can go in there. Drone, hey, go in here. Am I doing a smart? Am I being smarter than I think I am? Oh my god, I forgot I could have drones do stuff like that. That's so cool. He can scout out stuff and probably come from behind. 60 hit points, 60. As far as hit points go, it's not a lot, but man, it... I can see it sucking pretty bad. Alright, who's easier to hit? Actually, the turrets are pretty easy to hit, even for Travoke. So literally, just about anybody in this place can hit him. Can hit people. I'll just stay here, then. That was nice. I liked that. Okay. Obviously, you can't hit them all the time, but, you know, at least try. Alright, you. I mean, he's melee. That's the thing that sucks. He is melee. Get one up there. Take a whack. That's some serious hardware. Let's see if we can go around him. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Wait, why does he have... Okay. I should stop questioning the, uh... The whole percentage thing. It just... It, it isn't... I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me a lot of the time. That's as simple as I can say it. Like, that's... It just doesn't make any sense to me. This guy up front, 57% chance to hit. People that are way further back than he is, 62. At least for this guy. I don't know why. Um, but I'm going for it. Miss all of them, that's fine. 
I'm trying to stay in cover as much as possible, guys. Okay, crit, 40. Yes. Okay. That's the kind of damage I like seeing. It takes no action points to reload smart link weapons. Wait, what? Ho hold up. Is that true? Alright, so... Way to get around them. The only thing, the only way I could think of is to go in here and wait for these guys. Is these... These obviously can't move. They're mounted, obviously. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then you can duck in here. And that's what I'm going to have to do, yeah. Go on their flanks rather than trying to go through the middle. Because obviously that's what's being protected is right through the middle. Okay. Shotguns naturally miss from a far di from a dis from a distance, so you know. Okay. Okay. It's all right. Wait. I hear a door opening. Who moved? Huh, I don't know. But drone. I mean, honestly, so far, um, I do really enjoy uh, Deckers, yes. But the thing is, um, I'm actually starting to enjoy the rigor quite a bit. I gotta say, honestly, riggers are pretty dope. Alright, so you're not very wounded. You can whack this guy for 50 fucking percent for some reason. Miss, okay. Uh, go in there. For an action point. And then try to hide somewhere. Is there any cover? Yep, right there. Alright. So we're getting some of our people moved in. Alright, um, Travolk, you can go in here, help protect the, uh, Dodger. And yeah, I've, I've taken a bit of damage, so... Coyote... Well, it looks like there's an open door there. There isn't an opening through here, so actually having my guys locked in there might not be a good idea. Now thinking about it. Um... So if that's the case, you got three movement. You can actually move into here. Get into cover pretty damn quick. Yeah, let's move you all the way in there. Why not? Uh, it'll take a minute for these guys to actually move over there. Alright, Dodger. You could actually do the same thing. Um... There's no cover there. There's cover there, though. From the front is the cover I'm worried about, not the one, obviously, from the back or the side, because nobody's from behind us or from the side that I know of. Mind you, that I know of. Ooh, I need to... I saw that, I'm like, we'll see how it goes. But it didn't look like he, need, he didn't... It looked like he didn't take any damage, so I'm okay. Oh shit, okay. Alright. I wish my guys were love were high enough level that they had overwatch. But they don't. I haven't seen any of any of the people use Overwatch so far. Okay, that's that's fair. Trevoke, you're you're between a rock and a hard place, I tell you what. Combat drone, though. He's... Okay. Two turns. That's as far as I could go up there. Ooh, this is risky. I could actually just duck back here again. And then come out when, they, when they're when they cleared out a bit better. 
Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, there's somebody behind us. Oh, no. Right? They're baddies, right? Okay. Travoke, don't die. You're probably going to die, but don't. Please. How close are you to Travoke? Getting more bodies in here might help thin out the numbers a little bit. Can you actually hit her? For 53%. Let's put you in here. Help her protect Tra Travoke a little bit. I should have the gunner, the attack drone right next to her. I mean, right next to Travoke. It just makes sense. Why the why the hell am I not doing that? All right, attack drone. I'm back in here. Oh, that takes two actions. All right. Oh god. All right, coyote. Wow. You're dead, bro. That was that was easy. And the eighty-four. That's pretty good. You're dead. Okay. Wow, Coyote is a beast. I said that a couple episodes ago, but man, she's she's really good. All right. Sixty-six isn't really much. You've got two action points left. You could actually hide in here, but there's nobody. There's no cover from the back. Let's just actually. That's, uh... Yeah, there we go. Okay. You hit. Nice, he's dead. Sweet. That was a good shot, dude. Yeah, no Overwatch. Nobody has Overwatch. It's actually frustrating. Alright. Getting this to work. Kind of. Alright. Ow. Yeah, that's the drone I'm gonna get. Yeah. Alright. Luckily, Travoke, you're not dead. See, that was... Yeah. That was an idiot move, moving back there. But, uh, obviously I didn't know that there was... There was gonna be somebody there. Um... Oh, I can actually shoot the drone. Yeah, drone combat bonus. Yeah. 50 hit points, 8% crit. What you got? Nothing, really. Um health. Alright. It's good enough for me. Actually, no, I don't want anybody in the way of those turrets. My god. They look like one of those, uh, uh the turrets that the stormtroopers use in Star Wars. I mean, obviously from Star Wars. Everybody knows Stormtroopers are from Star Wars. I mean, unless you're not a Star Wars fan, then sure. Then fine, but uh, still. Alright, you're gonna have to get up in here. Ah, not a lot of damage. Her armor is pretty high, I'm guessing. Yeah, she's investing in armor, for sure. I wish I could shoot him, shoot from the uh, little, you know, vents and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, but I'm starting to really enjoy the uh, ow, 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 the rigor a lot. Sorry, dude. You're the tank. And there's no magic here. Man. He's not doing very well as far as health goes. Travoke, anyway. The Adept is doing alright. You're dead. We're going to be dead. Yeah, so it sounds like there are two shots coming out of that. I mean, obviously. Everybody can hear that. Alright, drone. 
I don't know, I feel like I'm wasting turns just with this drone because, I mean, nothing's going on really. Alright, there we go. Oh, there isn't much that he can do. Alright. I'm just gonna try to keep whacking this person. Um. Manifest. Actually, how much is it for the counter strike? It's only one action point. Pretty cool. So then when she attacks him, uh, yeah, when she attacks him, he'll be able to, you know, retaliate and hit again. All right. Oh, it's almost dead. Come on. One more hit. Nope. God damn it. That was, that was good though. I, I liked that. It was all right. All right. Let's move you here. 65. Yes. All right. Ooh. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. So her drone's gone. I mean, obviously. Uh, let's turn on the robo dock. I mean, there's probably something bigger going to happen, but yeah, I... it's the only thing I can think of doing right now. I mean, Travoke got hit pretty hard. And, uh, Drag, or Dag, or Graw. I don't know why I keep getting his name mixed up. Alright. Uh, right there. Okay. And that's all I can do with that one. Can, yeah, I mean, it can use grenades. But, uh... Yeah, anyway, other people can go. Oh, not even. Oh, reload, duh. Okay. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Why can't you do anything? Sorry for that big, you know, belted. Oh. It's just. I had no idea. I mean, I should have known, but I didn't. Alright. Uh, rifle. 50%. Uh, could try it. There we go. Okay. It's always worth to try to take a pot shot at somebody. It really, I, in my opinion, it really is. It's not a bad thing to do, and we have ammo capacity. It's not a huge deal if we miss. Um, and it's not like we have ammo counters or anything really either. So that's another reason why I'm not giving a shit. So we don't have ammo counters. I was going to say, he's probably going to miss again. Yeah, he's... Yeah. Alright. That's fine. Uh, you, though. Can go up right behind her and shoot the one time and... Actually, I'll give him an accuracy boost. Just because. I mean, going from 60-whatever to... Never mind. That didn't do anything. End. I mean, she can't do anything, so... Well... I know she could shoot, but I mean, as far as calling in reinforcements and stuff, there isn't much I can do. Or that she can do. Sweet. Alright, well, yes, uh, let's turn you off. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. No. Is that Overwatch? Is this the Overwatch button? I'm just being a goddamn idiot about it. You know, I, I I bet that's what it is. In the comments, be nice about it. But leave down in comments. Was that the Overwatch button? So this whole entire time, a lot of the people that I've actually been using have Overwatch. It's just that I haven't been obviously doing it. The Travoke even has it. Maybe. If that is actually Overwatch. Alright, so we're going to be heading up through here. So that looks like the best clear way to do it. 
I'm just going to get into some cover just in case somebody decides to poke in through there. Through the door and stuff. Alright. Um... Da -da 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 -da. Alright. Should be alright, though. I'm not too worried, but you never know. I mean, obviously. I mean, somebody freaking surprised me with being there, so, you know. Alright. So I can move my full movement now. Thank the gods, because that was getting annoying. I'm going to bring Gra in a little bit more. I like his portrait, though. I mean, it's pretty cool. I don't have the exact same hairstyle. I have more of the shaved sides and then, you know, pushed over through the side just like everybody else is doing. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. It reminds me of the, uh, I forget his name, but the lead singer of Sabaton. That's what that's what that hairstyle reminds me of. All right, so nothing in here. Good. Oh, there's a jack point. Hey, is this the CEO's office? Maybe. And if it isn't, it's something we can do. What you got, good sir? I mean, he's got some good stuff. A Fuchi uh, Virtua X. For employees, now Deckers love to use it against them. Programs, he's got Blasta. Uh, an area effect matrix attack that deals 75 damage to IC and Deckers. Okay. Reduces alarm state by 4. Okay, that's good. Creates five squares of firewall that causes minus 25 AP when moving through it. Heals yourself or friendly target for 60. Okay. Hostile target will take 75 additional damage from incoming attacks for three rounds. That's actually pretty good. Uh, execute Exploder ESP. Creates an Exploder Expert System program for ESP. And then obviously the attacker ESP. Okay. I like, yeah, I like the Decker system. It's loads, of, it's a lot of fun. It's still probably my favorite class in here so far. Excuse me, yawns keep creeping up on me. Let's keep pushing forward a little bit. We might be able to actually poke in and destroy those turrets a little bit. Or poke out and destroy those turrets a little bit. None of those give cover, are you serious? Ah, oh, man. That's, that's frustrating, y'all. I... As a... person who's experienced with tactical games, um, it's annoying when things don't give you cover when it should obviously give you cover. Right. Back to the Matrix we go. It's gonna be interesting. I think we're in a safe spot, so I'm going to actually just wait it out. Okay. Eighty four percent, sure. Wow. Hey, does a lot of damage. I really like it. Just his normal, uh, I forgot, just the basic attack, I forget what it's called. It's really good. What is the basic attack anyway? I'm just gonna look. Basic matrix attack. Okay, it's just matrix attack. Um, that's cool. And what else? Was that his pistol? 
No, it says, uh, I forget that the, uh, what are these? The decks? Um, are considered weapons. I mean, obviously, I mean, that's, that's what the deal is. So you can attack that. Oh, alright. Twice, and then you can run back there. I mean, like, this shit right here should give you cover. I mean, look at it. It's a solid object, unless that's like, oh, it's tech. I don't know. It's it, it, it's grinding on the nerves a bit. You know what really really grinds my gears? Oh my god. That does. But like I said before, I think it's just because it's the 2D uh, isometric angle that it's at, and for some reason they couldn't program in certain things, and yada yada yada, I don't know, it's, it's just aggravating. Yeah, see, Overwatch. I think that's what that is. Makes sense, because anything that comes in that, you know, cone, area of effect, um, will probably, will, you know, get shot at, you know, obviously that's what Overwatch does. But uh, as far as other tactical games that I'm planning on doing, I'm planning on getting uh, XCOM up and running at some point, and that'll be fun to do. Uh, I do enjoy the second one more than Enemy Unknown, but I have respect for Enemy Unknown or Enemy Within. That's what I that's what I have. I mean, you could play both because it's DLCs of it, but still, um, I'm literally just going to end and just keep on doing the whole Matrix bit to keep him protected and just things like that. I guess I could have these guys take care of the turrets, but, uh, you know, I mean, he's, he's taking care of these guys just fine. And I mean, obviously, the longer that he stays in there and attacking things, um, the harder it'll be to actually, you know, I think it's the higher that this goes and then an alarm hits, and that's what that means. I've never been this far or long enough to act, you know, in here long enough to do that. So yeah, let's actually just keep going forward. So if we could bypass these things, that'd be cool. I don't think they can follow us. Oh, we have to take care of the defenses before... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Another reason why this stuff is fascinating is because I like the... Like the PCB artwork that they have underneath the footprints and things like that. Um, I used to work for a company that actually... Uh, we don't make our own PCB... I don't think they made their own PCBs, but had cut uh, clients and customers to actually build their boards for them. You know, obviously for different things that they have and one. Oh, control, turret control. Oh, perfect. This is what I'm doing. Yes, that's why I'm focusing in this. Um, yeah. And it's stick with the matrix. Thank you. But um, I worked on the pick, it, uh, pick and place uh, machines that picked up the parts from, uh, you know, different magazines and things like that and put them on the board and put them through an oven and the solder, you know, hardens and things like that. That's a very, very basic rundown of it without, you know, telling you what it actually did. Um, I'd feel guilty if I actually explained the whole thing to a point. I mean, it's a process that everybody knows about, um, or everybody in that area knows about, so it wouldn't have been like, oh my gosh, you're telling a deep, dark secret, but, you know. It was fun, though. I, I enjoyed working there. Okay, turn down. Okay, so we got more incoming. More Lone Star. Heavy Guard. Ooh. Okay, they're bad. I'm gonna turn off the I'm gonna turn off the uh things. Okay. I'm gonna give this a try. Right there. And he probably can't see anybody. Uh, you don't have anything, so we'll just do that. Oh! 
I know what's going on now. Okay, cool. That was Overwatch, okay. That would have saved me a lot of things literally every other time for everything else. Oh my god, I... Oh, I feel like an idiot. You have no idea, guys. Alright, so they're both under our control now. That's good. Coffee break. Alright. See what else we can find. Legal Files Data Store Node. Okay. Legal Records uh, Search Results. Contract 12401 Watts. Contract not found. Related Files. William Edelson. Telestrain General Counsel Notes. General Counsel. Okay. James, your proposed agreement with Melinda Watts will likely be effective in protecting your children's inheritance, but is not without risk. As you know, the generation skipping trust established by your grandfather calls for the oldest living issue to be the trust manager and beneficiary. Agreement with Melinda Watts will likely be effective in protecting your children's inheritance. Wait, okay, but it's not without risk. Is you know that... See, there were their names being thrown out and stuff. Is it James' children? I mean, obviously. Um, is that also Melin? Like, are is are the Watts children James' children as well? Because they were talking about their father died. Actually, that doesn't make sense because their father died and. They got, you know, life insurance money out of that. Your proposed agreement with Melinda Watts, so that's a business agreement, of course, will likely be effective in protecting your children's inheritance. But it's not without... Okay. I, I'm i not going to try to get that deep into it. While Miss Watts has agreed to modify her children's birth certificate from unknown to Telestrate employee Nathan Miles, if the children ever discover that they share a father with you, they can make a claim on the trust based on upon DNA ev evidence. Wait, what? Okay, Miss Watts has agreed to modify her children's birth certificate from unknown to Telestrain employee, Nathan Miles. So they don't know who the real father is. They share a father with you. I mean, obviously they're twins, so obviously they share their same father and everything. Um, then we can claim on the trust based on DNA evidence. Okay, my my theory about this, it's very rough and very raw and just not polished at all. Um, is that James Telestrain knocked up Melinda or something like that, or they were married at some point or something, and then, uh wanted to keep that a secret and then by their birth certificate from unknown so an unknown father to a telestrain employee which is nathan miles or james had to miss watts made an agreement with james telestrain to have the name be put with a telestrain employee which is nathan miles i don't know and if they were to discover about it, then, you know, all hell will break loose and they'll be, you know, whatever. And the trust that they put in or whatever will be pointless, I, I would guess. I don't know. That's something, guys. I don't know. This, this whole conspiracy almost is just so much. It's a lot. I don't even know what to think about it. I'm just going to tuck you in there. Okay, um... All right, Coyote, take him out. What? Oh, yeah, they're heavily armored. So it's gonna be a little bit harder to actually hit them. This is fine, I mean, it's bound to happen. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Um. Is this bad enough to turn on a drone? I don't think so. If more co come up on our ass, then probably, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Let's do the ignore armor thing. The manifest. It does five damage, okay. 
Yeah, that's not a lot of damage, I gotta say. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna hit very well under those circumstances. Here? 51. It's a little better. 66? Got something in, I guess. At least. Alright. I mean, that was gonna happen anyway. Alright, so I think the deeper that we go in, we'll figure out a little bit more about what's actually going on with it. That's a serious SMG right there. Oh, so that's like a full-auto rifle. Um. Oh. The Black IC, yes. Um, if those kill us or something like that, they do a lot of damage to us, and it's not good. Um. Execute shield. Creates a shield expert system program. Okay. Uh, let's do some. I mean, we could heal f very well, actually. Um. What's the one? Yeah, this one. The blaster level 2. Oh, it's an area effect. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Alright. We got one more action point. Let's get a shield one up. Oh, right there. I'm guessing that, yeah, there we go. Okay. That's pretty cool. And then anything... I don't know. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, that was an idiot. That was a stupid bit part on my end. I mean, for some reason, it didn't even hit me, which is good. But pretty much, if they do enough damage to you, they can literally fry the Decker. Like, hard. Alright, let's just activate that. Patient's data store. Okay. Hmm, looks like some data on some new biotech genome research. This is worth some new one in the right hands. I'll send you the funds. Nice. 2,000? Yeah, okay. Good enough for me, I guess. Let's go in here. What? Oh, and then I guess that, that one has special abilities to actually, like, Umph our stuff. I don't know. It, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. The shield. ESP gives us bonuses, obviously, towards defense, things like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to not like summertime a whole... I mean, I've, I've never liked summertime. It's it's always just too damn hot. But uh, I don't like it all the time. One B is the heat, and also... Oh, elevator control mode. Okay, that's where we need to go. Good. Um. Ow, ow, ow. I'm, I'm bad. I'm in a bad spot. Oh, shit. Ow. Okay. Coyote. But I happened to get up so damn early and I just got tired really fast. I mean, you could turn on the Robo Dock, but. These other people have. Uh, healing that I could actually use. So you advanced med pick on Travoke. Yeah, that's that's what I need to do. I mean, it's all right that I used it on Travoke. I, I have no problem. I mean, that I used the Robo Dock with Travoke, but uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to keep these guys in here because obviously they're safer in here than with the turrets. Um, where are they at? Wounded. Yeah, they're they're doing all right. We'll just end our turns there. I mean, obviously that guy does a lot of damage to them, but there are two of them against one of him, so hopefully it's not gonna end badly. I don't think it will, but we'll see. Oh, goodness. Okay. Obviously, when we got closer to it, they pop up. Okay. Well, I I screwed myself. Anyway. Okay, what can you do, my good sir? Incoming damage from attacks is reduced by 45 last for two round or three rounds. Uh, um, what else? Nothing that way. Okay. 
How much damage do you do? Probably a bit. Yeah, he does as much as uh, Dodger does. This is pretty good. Sniffer. Accuracy plus 15. And still missed. 50, okay. And he can, he can heal himself for 60, so I'm alright. It's what, a 93 or 83? Let's get rid of this guy because he's actually protecting them. What does this one do? Just a white icy. White icy. Okay. There are probably different tiers of white ICs and things like that, but uh, I'm not seeing much of the difference. But uh, yeah. We'll get them a little distracted. Ow. Ow. Fuck. Never. Hitting my toe in the wheel of my chair. Ow. Alright, that was good. Obviously, we have to attack these things and get rid of them before we can access the node. I mean, which makes sense. Uh, that's what firewalls and defenses are for, is so that you don't, you can't, you know, get into other things. So that's fine. All right. I mean, they're doing so little damage to him. It'd be pretty quick for Coyote to at least pop out. Yeah, Coyote. Especially since you got the extra AP. And the turrets are, you know, under our control and stuff for it, so I'm not with that. Oh wow, she's got a oh, she's got a lot. Okay. Alright. It'd be a little more accurate with shotgun. Nice. Okay, one more. Sweet, got him. All right, um, all right, so we can actually move our guys forward now. I think, because uh, we're about to activate the elevator. There are a lot of things about this fight I, sh I could have done a lot differently. Well, you know, it, it happens, it's, The name of the game. Alright. Alright, hack the elevator. We gained a lot of karma. Excuse me. Alright, let's go in. I don't think there will be anything coming out, will there? I hope not. Like, after you're done doing everything? From my experience, so far, when you're leaving out, unless I think there's an alert probably going on, which is the longer we're going to be staying in here for, um, there will be probably more ESPs coming out, but we'll we'll see. I mean, like, we're right here at the entrance, so the exit point. So I think we're all right. Actually, I don't even think we're at the exit point. Yeah, that's uh, next. I, I don't even know what these are called. What are the different areas called? I mean, obviously there are areas and these are like gateways, but what's the actual platform name? I, I don't know. Is it something related to like the a code or a... I don't know, a something. I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, so, yeah, I, th I think this red bar obviously goes up, and then uh, once it hits that, it alarms. Okay, so, Coyote. You can actually unlock the door. Well, go to the elevator. I don't want to go in the elevator without exit this character from the scene. Yeah, sure. Um, nobody else is going to be coming through, so... I'll leave Gra here for Dodger. Let's just skip his turn. Alright, and then head here. But is it like a code, or is it literally just like uh, uh, an entry point or something? I, I don't know what it is. Let me know down in, in the uh, description.
or in the comments, that'd be that'd be great, actually. Can you actually activate this? Yeah. Cool. Confirm. And you can go in there. Confirm. Alright. We're going to next, guys. I have no idea. So I'm going to leave the episode here. It's been a little under 50 minutes. Um, sorry, this whole episode has just been combat, but we've got we got actually some information. Um, something for me that's very inconclusive, and I don't understand it completely. But the whole idea with Telestrain and the Watts family and things like that kind of being intertwined somehow, and I I don't get it at all. But, um, yeah, but it's also interesting that there is a million Nguyen that was sent to Melinda. And then, monthly, 10,000 Nguyen was coming out to pay McCluskey, which I'm not understanding that bit. Like, why and what was it about? It's not, it didn't explain that. Um, but, I mean, right now it's still getting paid regularly. Um... I, a theory just came to my mind, but I'll save that for next time, or w maybe when that topic comes up again. But, uh, actually, yeah, it makes sense with what my theory is, but like I said, I'll talk about it later. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry, it was just all combat, but like I said, we got some information. Uh, we're heading deeper into the Telestrain, uh, office. Um, and, yeah, we'll, we'll just see where it takes us. We have a really good Decker, so he's been helping out a lot with with this stuff and we are going to be seeing what this project project ag is, is about which got terminated now five days ago terminated because of uh they didn't eat anymore or something uh espionage i don't know but leave some comments down below about what you think there's also like and subscribe that'll help me out a lot and and the channel out a lot and i would really appreciate it so far we've been growing and it's been really awesome and this game has actually been, it's been loads of fun, uh, especially, I mean, my enthusiasm from the last couple episodes is still there. Um, uh, this is the following day after, so that, you know, I've calmed down a bit, but this is, it's, it's a really cool game. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.